it my son solomon is young and, and inexperienced and the house to be built for the lord should be great and magnificent and fame and splendor in the sight of all nations therefore i will make preparations for it so david made extensive preparations before his death Seven. Seven, seven. David said, Solomon, my son, I had it in my heart to build a house for the name of the Lord my God. But this, but this word of the Lord came to me. You have shed much blood and you have fought my wars. Yes. Seven says, David said to Solomon, my son, I had it in my heart to build a house for the name of the Lord my God. That's seven. Six says, Then he called for his son Solomon and charged him to build a house for the Lord, the God of Israel. It says, The house that we build must honor God. That's my question. That's my question. Do you know? Sometimes the reason why churches go through some problems it is because the kind of a house you are in, nobody has a respect over it. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Ata kuna hoteli, kwa mfano wakati ole Kenya ilitengenezwa. Si watu waliyama Amerika wote? Na uliza, watu waliyama Amerika? Na hoteli ngini ambayo yiko, inaito Woodland Sarofa, inaito ni? People move. Why? Because it looks glorious. Looks what? I say, looks what? It looks glorious. It looks magnificent. It looks better. It looks what? Better. Hoteli. Na nasema hoteli mzendubi. Kuna hoteli kwa nito Amerika. Ndiyo kira mtu waki kupereka Amerika unasikia vizuri. Sikuisi, mtu waki yada kukunulia kikomba ya chai. Nini? Ole Ken. Ama Woodland. Eh? Nito nini? Nito nini? Nito nini? Nito nini? Sarova Woodland. Ukienda hapo hata kuingia ndani watu wakikuona ukitoka ndani wanakuheshimu zaidi hata kama unachukula kitu. Eh, hey, please. Naongea ama ziseme kweli. Wakikukuta unatoka hapa Lemas hapa pale nyama inachomwa watu wana sweat kutoka hapo ndani. Who cares about it? Eh? Hey? Hata mwenye anataka kukuona anasema hebu kuja nje nikuone. Niko hapa ndani. Wapi? Hapo watu wanaingia because the place looks shabby. Looks funny. Looks disastrous and i pray that god will give all of us grace that we are going to have the urge to build the house of god i say god will give us the urge now hapa kwa ibq tuko na kitu naitoka beams beams one beam is 12000 beam ndio hiyo tulisema everybody must go and look for his own beam is it true am i talking to somebody here i say am i talking to somebody here so before we make an announcement we want to Pray a prayer. Ripped up your right hand and just have a confession. Tell God, please avail what I need for your house in Jesus. Tell my right hand, God shall work. Whatever I do, my hand will find to do. I will do it in the name that is above all other names. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray every spirit of struggle over my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God, you shall open my boundaries, my territories and everywhere, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Where God, I have failed. Where I have disregarded your house. Mali, ni mepuza nyumba yako, ni meifanya kama ifai. Karika jina la Yesu Christo, ni naomba buwana. Mungu wa uzima, utupe na fasi, utupe roa kwa mtakatifu, atusaidie kwa roa wako mtakatifu tupe neema bwana kwa sababu ya ushini na kwa sababu ya neema katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kushukuru tuseme amen sema amen sema we build the house of god sema we do it alone sema ndaifanya peke yangu naomi shabani alipochaguliwa minister special program na mwai kibaki the year 2000 what Afasarari alichukua akajenga muskiti iko leo taveta today as we are standing alijenga peke yake mama na muskiti inajengwa na specification na ninaomba ya kwamba Mungu atakusaidia kwa neema yake kwa uwezo wake atatusaidia sisi wote tujenge nyumba ya Mungu kwa furaha katika jina la Yesu nasema tujenge nyumba ya Mungu kwa furaha katika jina la Yesu 
Say my amen. So we have a, we have a very small announcement that uh, still you know what you make the announcement to December. Much more is about here and a bill and a conference. That is all about it. Forget.